gonna paint it too. Yes, indeed. This is one of the Zempel specialties around our house. Um, it's the high temperature eye of round roast. You need the paint. <laughs> and Sawyer's favorite part is she gets to paint it with this gravy master browning sauce. Um, this isn't actually in the original recipe, but based on the comments, this is one of the modifications we make. So Daddy drizzles a bit on. And I Ooh. can paint it everywhere. And Sawyer paints it. Okay, paint away. Let's turn it all black. You want to turn it all black? Yep. You like to paint, don't you? I love to paint. I even like to paint real things, not yeah. just food. Not just food. Yeah, like, painting food isn't something we do all the time, huh? This is actually a cheaper cut of meat than typically is used for roast beef, I, I believe. I got this, I got this. Yeah, I think you got, I think you got it good. Um, yep. So actually, it's a unique way of cooking it. Okay, so we have it painted, okay? I think we're good on that front. Wait, is the bottom the no, bottom? No, I flipped it, remember? Is so, the bottom? Yep. So now we're going to season it. We use kosher, coarse kosher salt, which I'll put on. Um, I put on pretty liberally. I've Never been told there's too much, only that there's not enough, so <laughs> just rub that in. And this okay. is the sugar on it. I might get too much sugar. It's salt, not sugar. Oh, I mean too much salt. Okay, now Sawyer is going to sprinkle the granulated garlic on this. Typically, I would just use like garlic salt or garlic. Ooh, don't touch it with it. Can you do it? There you go. I would just use garlic salt or garlic powder, but I actually bought this huge thing of granulated garlic when I just needed like a tablespoon of it. So now I use it for this. It works well. Okay, let's get that a little more. Again, it, pretty it, liberal. It looks like sand. Yes, it does. Okay. Shake, shake, Is shake. it sand? Nope, it's garlic. Get some pepper on here. It doesn't feel like it was. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Ooh, Just okay. don't touch things with that finger, okay? Okay. Okay. Pepper. I'm usually not quite so liberal with the pepper as with the others. Um, and that's it. Good. We are good to go. Doesn't so, that feel good? Yep. We plop it in this thing. Our pan here. Um, with a rack. Um, and yeah, we're gonna cook it. The oven set to 500. We bump that down to 475 when we put it in. It's supposed to cook it for about seven minutes per pound. And then the recipe actually says turn off the oven and let it stay in there for 20 minutes per pound longer. Uh, depending on how well your oven retains heat, that's questionable. So we actually crank ours down to 200 to make sure it'll come back on if it drops too low, but we've never really had that. All issue. right, the oven has reached 500 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this sucker in. As soon as we do so, we're gonna crank it down to 475. Then it's gonna set the timer for, we're gonna go with eight minutes per pound. The recipe actually says seven, but ours has been a little undercooked at the end. All right, so we finished our eight minutes per pound at 475. So now I'm cranking down the oven to 200, essentially the equivalent of turning it off. Um, the oven will stop heating and the temperature will slowly lower. And we will leave it in there. We are not opening it. We will leave it in there for 20 minutes per pound and then it should be done. So it's been the 20 minutes per pound, and so we're going to open it up and check the temperature on this thing, which unfortunately does let out all the heat. Ideally, you'd have a thermometer that could just live in here while you cook it, um, but yeah, ours puts it at 139, which is perfectly in the ballpark of where we want it. Um, so now we will pull it out, let it sit for 10 minutes to reabsorb the juices and do any carryover cooking. We'll probably cover the foil for that time and then time to carve into it. All right, so it's been 10 minutes, which was perfect timing to be able to create some mashed potatoes and Caesar salad to go with it. And now we're going to cut it open, right? Yep, I have And it. we did make this so much, it was great to invest in an electric knife. So here we go. Do you yeah. want to taste it, Sawyer? This thing does. Do you want to taste it? This Tell thing. us if it's good. 
Yum! Yeah. <laughs> Came out as you said that. Yeah. Yeah, really good. So just slip on over, not getting the piece she just put back. Put it on our plate. And we have a delicious dinner ready to go. Thanks. One delicious dinner. Yeah, we have some other plates to make too. So say thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow.